John Barkatos. Hey guys. Woo! I know for a fact that Satan's pretty ticked off today because we just took one of his kids and adding him to God's kingdom, Mr. Evenson. Um, just to paint you guys a little picture. Actually, before we do that, let's, um, can we have the family of um, Evenson stand up? Um, please just give him a round of applause. Um, just them coming all the way up from uh, New Jersey and just seeing um, this awesome man of God that you've helped um, just um, instill a fear and just give him a culture of where, like, um, to where he is now. Thank you so much. But um, to paint a picture, um, just how we met this wonderful guy, um, Mr. Hugens, um, it was like back in like January, like the spring of uh, the Berkeley semester. And um, we were just sharing like we always do, you know, just trying to build the Bible talk when um, Malik was actually leading it. Um, met this awesome guy, met a couple of times, and then um, we went back home for uh, New Jersey over the summer, um, just texting him back and forth, you know, just seeing how he's doing. And then um, fall time comes around, um, had him come over play some video games, we study the Bible, and here we are today. So, um, something that um, I think of when I, um, just studying with E, it's pretty simple, but um, in Acts 2, it's, um, when the people, or when E heard this, he was cut to the heart and said to uh, the disciples and the apostles, brothers, what shall we do? And then, uh, in this context, Peter replied, repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins, and you'll receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. And just seeing you going through the studies and just seeing your heart transform and just seeing you build that conviction, bro. Like, and I don't get to call you bro when I get out of baptism. I'm so excited. But um, it's just awesome just seeing your humility to God. And without further ado, I'm going to let David share. Um, no, I'm just super grateful because, um, you know, he comes from a situation sort of when I was 19. Uh, same exact situation, and I had to really uh, face some decisions to go by faith uh, rather than my own emotions. And uh, in, here in uh, Hebrews uh, chapter 10, it says in verse 35, it says, So do not throw away your confidence, for it will be richly rewarded. You need to persevere so that when you have done the will of God, you will receive what has been promised. For in just a little while, he who is coming will come and will not delay. And, but my righteous one will live by faith. And I take no pleasure in the one who shrinks back. But we do not belong to those who shrink back and are destroyed, but to those who have faith and are saved. And I, I share that, man, just to really persevere through life. You're young, um, but I really encourage you to stay faithful, to stay deep rooted. Uh, do not go by your emotions or anything else, but to really go by the, the, the Word of God. But uh, I love you a lot, and I'm super grateful to be able to build even in the AMS and stuff. So looking forward to what God is going to do. You know, uh, every baptism is very, very special. And uh, just being able to study the Bible with you has just been so grateful. And uh, just to kind of give you guys a picture, uh, his heart was just to make sure that his parents got here, his mom and his family got here. And uh, we, call, we talked about 11.30 last night, this kind of conviction that he has. Uh, and he says, I'm, I'm driving down. And then uh, just to call you this morning about 4 o'clock and just for you to say, I'm almost there. You know, and I was just praying. I was like, God, just help him to get down there safely and come back to Boston uh, so he can get baptized today. But, uh, you know, I think there's a scripture in the Bible that talks about a, a great man in the Bible named Jehu. I hope this doesn't describe your driving, but it says, uh, <laughs> it says uh, the driving is that, is that of Jehu. Uh, he drives like a madman. <laughs> but uh, the scripture I really want to leave on your heart is that he says, uh, the scripture talked about uh, Jehu, and he says, he says, come and see my zeal for the Lord. I really believe that that's what his heart, you know, he really wanted to make sure that his family got here to see his baptism. And I think that's the kind of man that you are. You know, you really wanted them to see your zeal for God. You know, you could have made excuses, you could have not made it happen, you know, but that just showed your convictions. And uh, I just want to say I love you, man. I'm excited to see you. I'm privileged to be able to study with you and see your faith grow and uh, just to see your zeal for, for the Lord increase. So I'm excited, excited for my brother here too. And uh, this is one of my loudmouth brothers here. <laughs> so we're going to let him say the questions here. Share a little bit and say the questions. Come on. Come on.
So um, I actually met um, E the first day I came, I came into Boston. Um, I've been knew he was gonna have like a connection because first he's Haitian. <laughs> and um, second, he's a, he's a musician. So I've been knew that we was gonna build and um, he's a great musician, he's a great guy. Um, I know we'll build and we'll be, it's gonna be awesome um, to call him a brother. So I hope this day is great for him as well. So today I, um, I have two. Oh, he got a share. Yeah, I just like to thank everybody. Like, Hugens, like, it's not a coincidence that the first person I meet was in my peer group, and he's Haitian, and he's a drummer, <laughs> and we're both Christian, and we both trying to strive for God, and then he get baptized in February, and then he just tries to get me into Bible talk, and then now I'm here. Come on. And it's just like, it's crazy how God works, and it's just like I really appreciate these brothers behind me and my family who are here from Jersey. Like, it's crazy, man. Like, I just, really, I just really praise God for what he's doing in my life. And I just pray that I just keep grinding. Just keep grinding. That's all. So I have two important questions for you. Do you believe that Jesus is the son of God and he died for you, for yes, your sins? Yes, sir. Awesome. What is your good confession? Jesus is Lord. Because of your good confession. <laughs> because of your good, your good confession, you can be baptized in the name of the Father and the Son and the, and the Holy Spirit so that your sins may be forgiven and you will receive the, you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Hey!